Hello, this is Hudayf Asmair again. In this video, we will tell you how to use our easy animation systems in iCars. I will leave you with Abdurrahman to explain that more. So let's start. All right, so in this video, we're going to cover the ghost system and the auto drift system and the free drive system, which is available in the animation path. So go to edit, preferences, in the add-on section, Go to install from disk, then navigate where you have saved the animation path. Double click the zip file, and with that you have the animation pack in your system. So we're going to start with the easiest one, the free drive. So going to choose this car, append it, and click the free drive. So basically the free drive is controlling the core using the keyboard arrows and you can bake the animation delete the cache and all that stuff first how to start the free drive mode while selecting the core click the store free drive then click the space bar so the animation starts as we can see the car now is driving on a terrain that's going to be added with the free drive and we don't want that we want it to drive on the terrain we made so as you can see the arrows now control the car going to exit the free drive mode back to frame one in the settings section the drive settings select the terrain object so back to free drive settings and when i click the ctrl d i'm going to have some widgets in the screen but from this button is not going to give you the widgets ctrl d then the space bar as you can see we have the bar which we can drive now using the arrows on the keyboard and we can control all the core settings from here, the friction, the torque, and all that stuff. I'm not going to dive deep into the advanced setting. Anyway, if you want to bake the animation, for example, go into frame 0 and start in the animation. Now, when I click the save widget, when I move the car, select the car, start driving, then stop the animation. Go back to frame 0. And when you start the animation, now I'm not going to click anything because the animation data is saved. So, as you can see. If you want to delete this cache data, all you have to do is to stop the animation, then click the delete icon, and now you can go to frame zero, start the animation, click the car, and drive it. So basically, this is the free drive mode. So next, we're going to talk about the auto drift. So I'm going to choose the buses, and I'm going to pin the blue bus. So as you can see, the auto drift is... As it says, it is the same as the curve control system, but the drift is going to be calculated automatically. So I'm going to add the terrain collection in the terrain section. And for the ghosts, it's not real time. So you have to tell the system for which amount of frames you want to calculate the frames. For example, I want to calculate the first 500 frames. So I'm going to type in here 500, then click the bake button. And you can control the spacing for sure. So now when I hit the space bar, as you can see, the bus is going to be walking on this curve. So let's exit the render. So let's now change the path that the bus is walking on. So let me delete the bake, edit path curve, and go into the top of view. And go into the speed now. So the speed, you can control it in here using multiple ways. And the first one is the static speed, for example, 120. But then you can set it to 30. Then going back to the first frame. And like this. You have the radius, which you can enter the edit path. Then clicking Alt-S is going to increase the speed, as you can see. It's increasing in here. And you have the radius multiplier, which is, for example, if the default is 1 kilometer per hour, you can multiply it by 40, so the default is 40. Then you can just increase the radius in this area to make it obvious change in speed. Starting the animation. And as you can see, then we have the 
random speed going back to frame one you have a random one can decrease the noise scale and control the min speed and the max speed so the speed in this case is going to be between 0 and 40 you can make it for example between 20 and 100 starting the animation as you can see the bus is behaving in a weird way okay so next we have the curve speed which is the same as the curve control system where the speed is the distance between the path the car is following and the curve speed so you can just turn on the proportional editing and moving this part up a little like this now the speed is going to increase in this area when we hit the space bar bus speed is going to increase so if you want to reset your curve to its default you can just click regenerate speed curve or reset it and back to frame one so that's the auto drift for quick so what we have next is the ghost system so i'm going to select anything but not the bus then picking for example let's go with this car and then I'm going to add the ghost control system. So the ghost control is basically very close to the curve controlled system. But you can control the drift in a different way. So let me add the terrain collection. And then start the animation. So as we can see, there is not that much difference. There is nothing special in here. But what you can do is clicking the edit ghost, where you can edit the rig of the future position of the car. So you can, for example, rotate the car like this here rotate it a little like this and exiting the edit course then go into the speed where the speed in the ghost system is the same as the auto drift so i'm going to take the speed a little higher like this it's going to follow the red ghost so sometimes when having a very big spacing between the ghosts the car is going to interpolate linearly in a weird way so all you have to do is to decrease the spacing between the ghosts maybe making it five then in frame one click regenerate ghosts now you have much more ghosts to control and as you can see, we have the ghost LOD where you can control the look of the ghost. And you can turn off the blue ghosts in here or control their spacing. I'm going to turn them off. When I hit the spacebar now, car is doing what is expected. So these are the animation systems in the animation pack. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to download them, the link is down below in the description. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.